what up what up what up y'all this is astro dim here hey hey have you ever thought about starting your own podcast when i was trying to get my bed and astrology off the ground i had so many questions like how do i record an episode how do i find background music how do i get my show on popular podcast platforms such as apple Podcasts, spotify and all the other places people like to listen Where do I find advertisers? Because, you know, I want to get paid for all the hard work I do. Talking is a lot. (laughs) It's a lot of energy, okay? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Yes. The cool thing about, um, you know, Anchor FM, honestly, is that you can record anywhere at any time just by using your phone. You download the app. They have amazing engineering through the app where you can record and have, honestly, some decent, decent, decent ass um, recordings from just your phone it's absolutely amazing and i'm honestly shocked about how um high quality my podcasts are (laughs) because i was like this is coming from my phone are you sure but the cool thing about it is like everything is done on the app you know what i mean and so once i'm done recording and once i finally make the established connections with the distributors as soon as i'm done it goes immediately just immediately to those distributors so people such as my audience or new folks can listen it's just so dope it's you don't have to do that much but to create the episodes create the work and everything's done for you after that it's absolutely amazing it it lets the artist truly be the artist it lets the creative be truly the creative and that's what i really really like you know so if you always wanted to start your podcast like me Because I always wanted to start my podcast, but I just didn't know where to go. And I did so much research and I finally heard about Anchor and it literally just fulfilled all my needs, you know? So if you're like me, you want to start your podcast, go to anchor.fm slash start. That's anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. And there's a lot of folks using it. There's amazing, amazing, amazing podcasts there. And I know your podcast would be amazing too. So go ahead and just join the just join us. Join the kid. Join join the cool team. You know what I mean? <laughs> Again, that's anchor.fm slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. And holla at me when you got that started, okay? All right, y'all. Peace. What up, what up, what up, y'all? Happy March. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Happy March, y'all. Um, it's March 1st, 2019, and we're doing a daily moon horoscope. The moon is in the second decan of Capricorn, which is ruled by Venus. Of course, all of Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, but the second decan specifically is ruled by Venus. Um, so this is really, really interesting energies here exactly at 12 o'clock p.m eastern standard time the moon is going to be exactly on saturn talk about emotional restriction (laughs) but it's not that's the thing that it don't have to be emotional restriction you know you're feeling these restrictions because it's you trying to find some authority over your emotion you know what i mean is you trying to find authority and so you're restricted and acting like the emotions aren't there but they're not I mean, but they're, they're not there, but they are, excuse me. And if you actually um, express your emotions appropriately, um, express your desires, you know, this is about the Capricorn desires because it's the Venus decant of Capricorn. So if you actually express your desires, um, express what you want, the, the, the physical things that you want, 
the tangible things that you want, the possessions, the money that you want when it comes to, you know, your career, reputation, status and all that. Right. Um, That's you having authority and control of your emotions because you're expressing what you want and is allowing you to actually get what you want. But if you're kind of restrictive and acting like, no, it's not that serious. Oh, no, I don't need that. You know, you thinking that you're controlling your emotions by not being emotional, but you ain't getting shit because closed mouths don't get fed. Do you feel what I'm saying here? (laughs) Do you feel what I'm saying here? And it's funny because it's March 1st on the 27th. The moon was in Sag. Um and conjunct Jupiter exact so now the moon is in Saturn um, I mean Capricorn and conjuncting um, Saturn exact and Jupiter is connected to Sag naturally Saturn is connected to Capricorn naturally so it's funny how that energy kind of played out you get what I'm saying um but yeah that's what I have to say about that okay um at least with the moon Saturn exact conjunction i has to mention that first before i talk about the decade of which the moon is in so i'll talk about the decade of which the moon is in a little bit more and then we'll talk about the aspects that are being made okay so the moon is in the venus decade of capricorn um again with this energy we're focusing on the things that we want out of this reputation status or career the the things that we desire when it comes to having authority over our own life what do we want out of this like why do we want to have authority this is where you look at the third decade i mean second decade of capricorn on what things will give us this authority you know um the first decade kind of is telling you okay this is what you want second decade is okay this is what you have like this is what you'll get if you get what you want third decade is all right crunch time let's make this shit happen you know what i mean so i'll talk about the crunch time probably oh well maybe we'll just talk about it because it's gonna happen during the weekend and i don't do these during the weekend <laughs> but um yeah you'll figure it out there'll, there'll be another day in which um the moon is going to be in the um third decade of Capricorn okay moon moves fast all right um anyways like I was saying um we are emotionally trying to kind of understand um the desires of the reputation status career or whatever that we're looking for that will kind of elevate us you know um I always say that Capricorn is the king and queen of the this realm, the 3D realm, because they are the older or the oldest or the mastery of the earth signs, which is all about 3D. You know what I mean? And so we're kind of um, understanding our desires and how we can get our desires through our reputation or in our status do you get what i'm saying this is really really interesting here so i already talked the moon about the moon conjuncting um saturn the moon is also conjuncting um pluto which is interesting here we're getting this great sense of empowerment and having the the need for speed no so that's the need for speed but like the need for transition transformation um we are understanding that we want this transformation of um kind of getting transformation of status that's the best way to say it um we emotionally want it greatly um emotionally we're focusing on how to will fulfill our desires but when it comes to our personal empowerment we're like okay yes the desires are going to be great have an authority of um our desires is going to be lovely but you know what the pluto side of us the how we are personally empowered we're really are trying to get shit going now we're like okay yeah that's cool we have what we want we understand what desires it can give us but what do we need to do to kind of get this shit going already you know what i mean because pluto again is on the third decade 
of um, Capricorn, which is ruled by Vir- by Vir- not Virgo, Mercury, excuse me. And so um, we are emotionally empowered to kind of set up a routine, set up some organization, some orderliness to um, get the reputation status and career that we want. Um, and emotionally, you know, we're figuring out what we desire exactly and how it's connected to our reputation, size, and career. So it's really, really interesting here. Um, another thing that's um, aspect in the moon is the sun. Um, I talked about that yesterday. Um, that's going to be really happening in the morning of the first of Friday, um, at least for the U.S. folks. But again, like I mentioned before, we're teeter tottering on what's reality and what's fantasy and how we perceive both you know what I mean we're still on that wave in the morning when we wake up we're going to be on that wave um for a bit at least for the Americans I know if you live um more towards the east it'll probably be throughout the whole day for you but um that's kind of like the vibe that we're feeling honestly and it's interesting because like basically emotionally we want to stay grounded um to have to be looked at a certain way you know what I mean but the sun the season right now wants us to be a little bit free with expressing our emotions um, again Capricorn understands about the importance of being free to express their emotions they rather do this in the inside though um, and so they may not you know they may find some difficulty in reacting that way because the sun kind of represents our identity and how we react and express ourselves um so that you know they're trying to figure out what's we're still trying to figure out the best balance basically and we'll probably we'll figure that out in the morning of march first um the moon is sextile neptune too so the same vibe here um of kind of like teeter tottering with grounded emotions and you know wild intuition you know what I mean um it's just it's just (laughs) you would think that these energies wouldn't totally disagree with each other but they don't because deep down inside Capricorns are very emotional and you just know that because Capricorn is sextile Pisces and sextile Scorpio which are very emotional energies you know what I mean and so it goes to show you that there is some deep emotion with Capricorns they understand it emotions way more um than people think than they let off um and you know with this energy sextiling the sun and Neptune and Pisces you know you may be able to kind of um you know wherever you kind of restrict your emotions wherever you kind of like hold back or the emotions that you're trying to ignore because you want to look a certain way you're going to be a little bit more understanding on why you people express themselves a little bit more when it comes to that thing and you may be um kind of being open up a little bit more and expressing yourself in that type of way that's the best way to say it okay um what else do i see here oh last aspect the moon is trying mars still yay so we're still emotionally motivated to get shit done okay um mostly in the morning for us but yeah that's gonna be our vibe um being emotionally motivated to get the um emotional status honestly that we want um of being emotionally intelligent honestly we're also going to be motivated to um get the status reputation that we want in the physical world too um but we're, you know we're, we're understanding what we emotionally want a little bit more than what we want just to look good just for um views or just for um people to like be proud of us we're kind of doing more about okay what do i want deep down inside you know what i mean um and you're getting motivated and driven to kind of get that shit done and again mars is in taurus it's a good energy to be in because it's fixed you know what i mean um so if you want something done you want it done basically 
um, during a Mars um, in a fixed sign energy when you already got shit going. You know what I mean? When you already got shit going. If you don't have anything going and Mars is in Taurus, then, you know, you're probably not going to go anywhere for a while. But, um, you know, again, like Mars and Taurus is kind of fixed energy being practical with how you kind of move and staying focused, staying driven, keeping shit going, you know? Um, and so you can literally make your emotional dreams come true um easily you really can with this energy so it's dope but that's what i have for march 1st y'all i hope you liked it or whatever i know it's a bit shorter than the last few readings but it's not that many aspects simple as that (laughs) so i hope this was helpful um please comment like subscribe share care all that good stuff if you're listening on my podcast then hey and (laughs) Um, hit me up. I would like to talk to you guys. Hit me up on Twitter or something. If you have anchor, send me like a little message or whatever. It'll be cool to hear from you, okay? Um, but yeah, that's what I got. And I hope this was helpful. And um, yeah, happy March, bitches. <laughs> Peace.